When you hear the word idolatry, what do you picture? When you hear of someone who is guilty of idolatry, what do you imagine they would be doing? Most of us would picture someone holding a little idol or figurine, perhaps praying to it or worshiping it by bowing down to it. And this certainly would be a breaking of God's first commandment, which states, you are to have no other gods beside me. Truth is, God is very descriptive of this when he says, you shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. Yet it isn't just holding a figurine in your hands that breaks this commandment. It means anything that we would hold in our heart with trust and belief above God. Oh, what idols our hearts hold, such as arrogance, hatred, greed, lust, pride, or even political alignments and ideologies. And I think one of the clearest definitions of such drifting and sin against this commandment is in the term humanism. Humanism is a man-centered idol that places more importance on man's thinking, reasoning, feelings, and philosophy than adherence to God's principles of truth. And within our own ranks as Christians, it is most deceptive. So many Christians follow certain parts of God's word while dismissing the parts that are unpopular with friends or with the culture or with our own brand of theology. Sadly, this kind of humanism actually turns God into a little idol that we pull out to do our bidding instead of the one before whom we should bow and surrender our lives. In his explanation of this commandment, Martin Luther explains that God is saying, See to it that you let me alone be your God and never search for another. I myself will give you what you need and help you out of every danger. Do not let your heart cling to or rest in anyone else. This is what it means to follow Jesus, repenting of all other idols and believing in Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life. Let's pray. Dear Lord, forgive us for the things that we have placed higher than you, for the confidence that we have placed, misplaced, instead of giving it to you solely. Instead, would you grant to us a faith that looks and trusts in you above all things as we continue to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.